The Duke of Cambridge has wowed locals in Belize with his beautiful rhythm demonstrated during a dance with his wife, Kate. The royal couple was shaking their waists like nobody's business, when invited to dance during a visit to Hopkins, described as the, the happiest village in the country. The jubilant scenes were a far cry from protests that had taken place the day before as Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge arrived on the Caribbean island. Prince William during an event with the Garifuna people on March 20 in Hopkins, Belize. Copyright Getty Prince William during an event with the Garifuna people on March 20 in Hopkins, Belize. A scheduled visit to a chocolate farm was scrapped after small demonstrations over the colonial undertones of the eight-day Caribbean tour, which is celebrating the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. After the protest near the Indian Creek village, Kensington Palace was forced to hastily rearrange a visit to another chocolate farm, which took place on day two of the royal tour. Instead of the original location, William and Kate stopped by the Chiel Mayan chocolate factory, where they helped to grind cacao nibs while learning the process behind the world-famous chocolate produced there. Prince William and Kate visited a chocolate farm on day two of their visit to Belize. Copyright Getty Prince William and Kate visited a chocolate farm on day two of their visit to Belize. Afterwards, the Duke and Duchess moved to the beachfront town of Hopkins, where they joined in dancing to the beat of the traditional Garifuna drums. Laura Cacho, 57, who danced with Prince William said it was a dream come true. It was fun, he was a good dancer and I told him he got the Garifuna culture in him, she said. Kate laughed as she danced with the locals but it was William who made more of an impression. Copyright Getty Kate laughed as she danced with the locals but it was William who made more of an impression. He did the punter dance better than me. He had beautiful rhythm. What's in a name? Well if you happen to be Queen Elizabeth II, quite a lot actually. The British monarch has numerous things named after her places, buildings, roads, awards, and even food and a flower. Indeed, Her Majesty is known the world over for all sorts of weird and wonderful namesakes. Click through and embark on a sovereign sightseeing tour of things and places named after Queen Elizabeth II. Kate was excellent as well and definitely has Garifuna culture in her. They were shaking their waists like nobody's business, one person shared a video of the moment on Twitter, writing Catherine is flirting with William. The Duchess of Cambridge meets one of the many people who came out to see the couple in Hopkins. Copyright Getty The Duchess of Cambridge meets one of the many people who came out to see the couple in Hopkins. Prince William had ditched his suit jacket and tie for the dance. Kate paid tribute to the color of the Belize flag, choosing a patterned midi dress by American label Tory Burch. The now sold out frock originally retailed for $800 and was accessorized with a pair of Stuart Weitzman wedges, which Kate later swapped for Stella McCartney espadrilles while on the beach. Kate swapped her wedges for espadrilles during their visit to the beachfront village. Copyright Getty Kate swapped her wedges for espadrilles during their visit to the beachfront village. While at the cultural event, Prince William and Kate were invited to sample the local delicacies, including plantain coconut broth, made with fish and spices. Afterwards, the Duke and Duchess met with marine conservation specialists to learn about Belize's unique marine environment, which includes the world's second largest reef. Tomorrow, they are due to visit an ancient Mayan archaeological site and attend a reception celebrating the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, at a location Her Majesty visited in 1994. The Duchess of Cambridge on day two of the royal tour to Belize. Copyright Getty The Duchess of Cambridge on day two of the royal tour to Belize. On Tuesday, they will arrive in Jamaica before moving on to the Bahamas on Thursday. The tour is William and Kate's first joint overseas trip since the start of the coronavirus pandemic. 
they arrived in the Caribbean nation of Belize on Saturday after an 11-hour flight from London.